Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js and the SQLize. This is the series where we are going to learn about the SQLize ORM. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So today we are going to do with the installation, like how to use the ORM with Node.js and Postgres. And the second video would be the how to use the SQLize ORM with Node.js and MySQL. So currently we are going with the MySQL connection and how to install that one. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have the installation SQLize PG. So first we will create a new folder and let's try to do that. So any of the Node.js. So here we will create SQLize. And here we will create the directory of it. Okay, make directory. SQLize tutorial. And CD SQLize npm init hyphen y. Okay, so let's open into the code also. VS Code. Okay, done. Next step install this SQLize and PG. So here we go with this one. Next step, we have to create a file for connection part. So we will go with the app.js main file and let's see. So here we go with the files. So we'll create a file app.js and here we will update the code. So here we have all the things over here So in one file, okay. So here you can see we have a SQLize also and here we have the database. So the database name, let me go and check the Postgres PG admin. Any of the database we can consider. So I think the rest API part, they have the users or what? They have the user column and let's check the details name email and the id user column so here we go with the user column is what we have in the user column we have first name last name and the email okay so let's create the new one and check or we will rename that model okay so we have a user model so here we will define the user define a user model we will make it as a customer okay customer model anything is over here no first name last name and that's it okay so let's change the details of the database so we are using the rest api i guess we have the rest api part so we will use the database rest api okay so let's change the details so rest api database username i think postgres mm, i think it's postgres password i think it's admin localhost and dialog is this one okay this is done and this is the test the database connection for creating the table sqlize authenticate then connection establishment and we have where is the user model is here then we this is synchronization this is the connection test whether the details are correct or not and this is the synchronization part synchronize the model with the database create the table if it does not exist okay so this is very important when whenever you have a model you need to check with that one okay and then after that example for creating a new user in the meanwhile so that that a way to test the connection also and that's a way to create the model the table in the database also so it will do the rest of the things okay so let's start this one so here i will add just node app.js okay so you can see what error they have or something 
customers does not exist but the error is going on connection to the database has been successfully inserted into customers is also error for creating the user that is the issue of the creating the user parent error relation customers does not exist but what the data insert into the customers let's see what happening so you can see that the name this is user where is customers there is only a use no no this is not that one database has been connection insert into the customers so it will throw the error but that meanwhile the database part is not there syncing part is not completed yet here so this should be on the top because customer is there sequelized to authenticate the user let's do the first this one then that model okay let's try to run this now you can see the database is synchronized okay maybe we have to do the async or we have to split the files into different location then it will work okay now you can see the customers part is there okay now we can just go and add it the details okay because async await they should be there it is not waiting for this one it will just run this one so that's the reason it goes to the error part okay now you can see user is created now you can go to the just refresh this or just view or all rows now you can see the data is recorded over here okay so this is how we are able to do the connection with the postgres sequelize in the type orm of the sequelize okay so any doubt let's let me go to the code level i just skip it out so let me define the code so here we have the create the sequelize instance okay which we have the details then this is a test database connection whether the connection established or database or not if any error so it will throw you the error that unable to connect the database then we have a model the first name last name and the email okay so we have defined that one model then we have a synchronize a model with the database create a table if it does not exist so this is the method for that one okay then here at the last we are going to just create a new user for checking that the database connected table is correct connected or not and that will help you to create the user into your table so here you can see that the record is okay so this is how you can do that any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day